Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to use Pix to create some shapes to use in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. The ability to add your own shapes to Doodly really opens up the world of possibilities. For example, I have this little red bar here and it's something that I made in a matter of just a minute, maybe two minutes total. And it really adds a lot to my scene. Let's just take a quick look. So I, this is the bar. And then it does that little neat fade so that I have a little area where I can do these little sound waves. And I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do the same thing using Pix. So what is Pix? Well, Pix is primarily billed as a e-cover creator software tool. It's made by the same company that makes Doodly, so it's really easy to use. But in addition to being able to create these little ebook covers, you can also create some shapes. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. So here I am in Pix. I'm gonna choose new and I'm gonna choose custom image. And that's a fine size, that's fine. Click create. And here we are, we have a transparent square. Now, I wanna create the same bar that I created, because that's what I wanted to show you. So I'm gonna go over here to shape tool, and I'm just going to draw my shape, okay? So we'll make a bar. And you can change the fill color. You notice I had a red one earlier. Let's make a purple bar. Click apply. And then of course, do you want the outline? Yes or no? I think no. And then if you recall, go back over to doodly here. This bar actually had some little circles in it, right? So let's see. You'll see I have two bars actually. So my original one is a red bar with some gray circles in it. So let's do the same here. So we're still in the shape tool. Let's just go ahead and click the little circle tool and we'll just draw a circle real quick. Now that's not going to show up very nicely because it's the same color. So let's go ahead and change the color. We'll just do yellow and click apply. And then we're just going to drag it into place. And once I like the way that looks, we'll just copy and paste it. If we wanted, we could add, again, an outline. I don't think I want to. So I like that. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate it. And the way you do that is with your keystrokes, Control or Command C to copy, Control or Command B to paste. And then we're just gonna place them. Now we can distribute them however we like here. Once I have it kind of how I like it, I'm going to use the resize tool here and I'm going to change my image size so that I don't have all this transparent above and below it. So a little bit is fine, it just makes it easier to deal with in Doodly if you don't have all that extra space. So I'm just going to do that and hit apply. And that's my image. I'm ready to export it. So you just go to export and let's just give it a name. We'll say purple bar and you want to save it as a PNG file because you want that transparency to be preserved. Now what about that second image? Remember I had a second one and it's got a white bar in it. What we want to do is we just stay with this graphic. The first thing I want to do is make sure that all of my other shapes are locked. It just makes it a little bit easier when they're locked and you don't accidentally move them. Okay. So go back to your shape tool, choose line, making sure you have a stroke color selected and just make sure you're on line. Sometimes it flips back to the other shapes for whatever reason. I'm not sure. It looks like it might be a bug. Now, as you do it, try and make it as horizontal as you can. I think that'll be fine. You can use your little arrow keys to fine tune the placement. 
And that looks pretty good. Let's change the color. We can make it white. We could make it that same yellow color. We could make it that purple color, which that looks kind of cool as well. Kind of like that one. And then if you want to make the bar fatter, you can do that. To make movements, pick the four-fit arrow, and then that way you won't accidentally select the wrong thing. Make it just a little fatter. And that looks good. And that way we can add whatever we want. If we wanted to add some text in there, or like I had the sound waves, that's what you do. So then go ahead and hit export. Now, these are gonna be identical in size because they're from the same design file, okay? So that's why I just continued adding and then I exported it. So if we go into Doodly, we can get rid of our original ones and we can import, go to props, blue plus sign, the ones we just made, purple bar one and two. Now I wanna bring them in together, kind of stack them onto each other and then select them together. So control or command click to select them. So now they're together. And then that way I can resize them at the same time and they'll be identical still. And that should be good. And then we're gonna want it down here. Now, let's click the first one. And it's right here, you wanna notice the X and Y position. Negative eight and seven oh nine. So click the other one. And let's make sure they match. Negative eight and seven oh nine. So that way they're stacked upon each other perfectly. So we can do a little switcheroo here and it'll appear as if this bar, this purple bar in the middle is just appearing on its own. Now let's go ahead and position them behind our girl. And then of course we want our sound waves to be positioned where they look nice. Something like that. And if we take a look at it, we'll see it's not quite what we have in mind just yet. Scribbles on, then it scribbles on again, and that doesn't look good. So what we want to do is click the first one, click the pencil icon, change this to fade, so that way it fades on. And then let's make it like a one second fade, so it fades on nice, you know, just in one second. Let's click our second one in the pencil icon. We'll do the same thing. We want it to fade. And maybe we don't want this to happen right away. Maybe we want it to happen in two seconds, say three seconds. And we can do a nice slow fade if we'd like, or we could shorten it up. Well, let's see what it looks like. pretty cool and that's really all there is to it so you would use picks to create whatever shape you have in mind export it and then bring it into doodly that gives you some ideas thanks for watching